As you're no doubt aware, coronavirus, formerly known as COVID-19, is currently wreaking havoc on the world. But what exactly are we doing to fight it? Sure, you've probably heard the advice about washing your hands and staying home if you're sick, but what about things like vaccines? What about drugs for people who are already infected? Do we have what it takes to stop this thing? In the next few minutes, I'm gonna do my best to answer all of these questions and give you a rundown of the technological tools that we're using to fight the pandemic. I'm Drew Prindle, and you're watching The Deets, a show where we demystify the technologies that are shaping the future so you can better navigate this increasingly high-tech world. So right now, in order to effectively stop this virus, we need to do three main things. We need to detect people who have it, prevent other people from getting it, and treat those who are already sick. Let's start with detection. Currently, detecting coronavirus in humans requires a fairly invasive testing procedure where they shove a cotton swab up your nose and then send it to a lab for analysis. But unfortunately, the world has a limited amount of these labs that are equipped to carry out those kinds of tests. And there's a shortage on the chemical components needed to perform the tests themselves. That means we can't do them fast enough or on enough people per day to get a clear picture of exactly how many people are infected worldwide. For this reason, our best bet right now is to identify people with specific symptoms, such as a fever and a cough, and have them self-isolate to avoid spreading whatever they have. On that front though, we do have some really nifty tools at our disposal to identify sick people. Infrared thermometer guns, for example, are helping health officials check temperatures without actually touching people. Some places are even putting these devices on drones and robots and using them to screen crowds of people without actually getting human workers involved whatsoever. But detection is just the beginning. The next step is prevention, which in this case means developing a vaccine. Right now, there are dozens of pharmaceutical companies racing to develop a vaccine for COVID-19, but there's one in particular that's showing a lot of promise. Massachusetts-based biotechnology company Moderna Incorporated. Unlike other vaccine developers that make DNA-based treatments, Moderna is one of the only companies developing messenger RNA-based vaccines. Now, I don't want to get too deep into the science here, but in theory, mRNA-based treatments should work faster and be more effective than their traditional DNA-based counterparts. Now, on top of that, in less than two months, Moderna managed to develop an initial mRNA vaccine for coronavirus from scratch, which is an impressive turnaround time even by modern drug development standards. In late February of 2020, the first batch of the company's COVID-19 vaccine was shipped to the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases for testing. And if everything goes as planned, clinical trials are expected to begin in late April. Barring any complications, it would then be another three months from the initial design of the vaccine before we could start human testing. However, despite Moderna's breakneck pace, it's unlikely that the company's vaccine would be ready for mass distribution before 2021. So for now, the best way to prevent the spread of the virus is to do exactly what the CDC and the WHO are saying and practice social distancing, or just go into self-quarantine immediately if you feel sick. Which brings me to my final point. What can we do about people who are already sick? Is there anything we can do to cure this thing, or do we just have to let the virus run its course and hope for the best? Well, thankfully, not only are there dozens of companies working on drugs and medication for coronavirus, but there's already one drug that's in stage three clinical trials, which means it's already being tested on humans. Remdesivir, as it's called, is an antiviral drug developed by pharmaceutical giant Gilead Sciences. Oddly enough, this drug was originally developed to fight the Ebola virus a few years ago, but it was so ineffective that they stopped using it. But now it's being tested in new clinical trials and global health authorities have called it the most promising of possible treatments for people who are severely ill with the novel coronavirus. In fact, in January of 2020, remdesivir was given to the first confirmed US coronavirus patient in Washington state. And while we can't say for sure that it was the drug that did it, the patient's condition improved dramatically the next day and he was eventually discharged. Don't get too excited though. Still more tests are needed before we can be sure of remdesivir's effectiveness. But if it does work, it'll be a huge win. It won't stop people from catching the virus, but it could stop them from dying from it. All things considered, the most important thing to remember here is that in spite of all the crazy headlines and the coronavirus-induced panic that's rippling through the world, humanity is better equipped to respond to a viral outbreak like this than it's ever been in the history of our species. If we put our heads together and we use the best tools and technologies at our disposal, there's no reason to think we can't overcome this thing. We've beaten viruses before and we can absolutely do it again. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, definitely like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And if you want to find more awesome content, just head over to digitaltrends.com.